Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the Canon 100-400mm f4.5-5.6 version 2 lens. Uh, I got this lens last August and since then it's really become definitely my most versatile lens and probably my favorite lens that I have. Um, before this lens, uh, for equivalent lenses that I had, I had a Canon 70-200mm f2.8 and a Canon 400mm f5.6. And I sold both of those and got this, and now this kind of does what both of those lenses do. So I'm saving weight uh, by dropping one lens, and now I just have kind of one that does it all. don't have to be switching lenses around. Um, although I will say I do miss the 70-200 uh, just for the, the uh, aperture speeds that it did have. Um, a little bit about this lens. This is the second lens of this version, so the, or the version 2. And the version 1 right now, if you go online and you and you look for that, you'll see that it's greatly discounted. But really, don't be tempted by those prices. Uh, this is the one you want. The, the version one was very inconsistent, not really that great, but this is excellent. Extremely sharp at all, all ranges. Uh, extremely fast focusing. Um, the old one that I had, the, the Canon, the 400mm 5.6, that was that's known as one of Canon's sharpest lenses, and also one of Canon's uh, fastest focusing lenses. And this is just as good or like 1% worse than that. Um, I really don't find much difference. It's been extremely good. Uh, the old Canon 100 to 400 millimeter was a push-pull lens. So to zoom in and out, you have to go like that. Whereas this one now has the zoom ring. Uh, so that's pretty nice. It also have a, has a tightness ring here just to uh, adjust the tension on there. So if I have the camera down like this, and I have the tightness uh, all the way loose, the lens can just slide out. But if it's tight, it's not going to move there. So it's pretty, pretty secure. Um, one of the, uh, the really good things about this lens is the minimum focusing distance. So the minimum focusing distance on this lens is three and a half feet. So three and a half feet, uh, which is just over a meter. Uh, so three and a half feet at 400 millimeters is pretty good for macro photography. It's not quite ideal, but you're going to get some really nice close-ups for for most subjects that you're that you're going to shoot. Uh, so that is really one of the main reasons why I bought this lens, um, aside from all the other good reasons. But having that close focusing distance really just makes it so much more versatile. Um, another thing that I really like about is the image stabilization on this lens. This has Canon's new image stabilization and it's really a lot better than the old old type. Um, I think the old stabilization was two-stop stabilization. This is four-stop stabilization. So if I'm hand-holding this at 400 mil, I can get a sharp picture at 1 20th of a second if I'm, if I'm holding pretty steadily with that stabilization on. So that's really incredible. Uh, the old 400 millimeter 5.6 that I had, that had no stabilization. And although it was a great lens optically, um, you really want it to be on a tripod or resting against something or using really fast shutter speeds. But with this, uh, you really don't have to worry. Uh, this lens, if you're kind of just getting into nature photography and you're kind of wondering what to get, uh, there's a lot of options out there. There's there's much cheaper options than this. This is around $2,500 um, or, or it's around 2000 in, in the States. Um, there's, there's cheaper options to get than this. There's uh, 70 to 300 uh, lenses like that, but I would, if I were you, I would definitely save up a little bit more money, get this, and this is gonna be good for pretty much everything you can do. If there's if there's only one lens that you can buy, this is definitely the one to get. Um, I'm not really a gearhead when it comes to photography. I don't uh, focus on that stuff too much. Um, I've been using the same camera body for the last five years. I could upgrade, but this one the Canon 1D Mark IV, it's doing just fine. Um, so I never really say or encourage people to always be upgrading gear, but this lens is something that that you I, I would say you really should look into if uh, you don't have something equivalent in this range. Um, other than that, the lens is around four pounds, so it weighs, I think, exactly the same or pretty much exactly the same as my old 70 to 200 2.8 um, and it's quite compact when it's at 400 mil uh, when the hood's reversed it's around the same size um, 
One little thing about the hood. On the hood here, it has this window. And what that window is for is for if you're using a circular polarizer, you can pop that window open and adjust it. Um, if you have a circular polarizer that's really quite stiff, you'll kill your fingers trying to adjust it. It's The opening really isn't big enough to do that. Um, but I have one polarizer that's really quite easy and the, the window size works great for that. So it uh, depends on the polarizer that you have. One really annoying thing with this window, it has a slight lock to it, but otherwise it opens up, opens up very easily. So if you're shooting in rainy conditions um, and that gets knocked open, rain's getting onto your lens. So in those cases, seems obvious, but you can put the hood upside down as well. So I'll do that. And then that way, if it does open up, nothing's getting into it from above. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, not much else to say. Uh, probably one of the best lenses overall that Canon makes right now. Uh, stay tuned for more videos like this, and thanks for watching.